Hi, my name is Aaron Atkinson, um, and I was diagnosed with MS in 2006, uh, January 2006, uh, January 24th actually. Um, it's one of those dates that you you know you always remember, and um, you know for the most part, I would say that my my symptoms are I mean I've got some pain in my feet because of the nerve damage, um, some tingling, and a little bit of clonus in my feet. But for the most part, most of my symptoms uh, at this point haven't been, um, I guess, too severe. Uh, fatigue, you know, like like a lot of other people out here, from time to time is an issue. Uh, I'm actually on pro vigil for that, so that that seems to help a lot. Um, I notice because when I when I'm busy and I don't take it, I, I notice a difference in my energy level some days. Uh, I guess I'm fortunate to work, you know, at a computer most of the day, so I guess that helps a lot to some degree because I'm not on my feet um, because it's I, I can't be on my feet too long um, unless I'm walking which I guess is kinda weird because as long as I'm walking I can I'm just fine just standing on my feet for long periods of time seems to hurt a lot um, you know I don't know I mean it's I guess I've never done this I've never had given a personal account I mean I've created a video that's online of, of more of an artistic an account of my experience with MS uh, but I haven't exactly turned the camera on myself and just kind of talked about it. Um, but I guess today is one of those days where, you know, I've had a little bit of a frustration level, um, primarily because my MRI results just came back um, and there's been some changes in my brain uh, for the first time in two years. And I guess um, while it's easy to get angry and frustrated by all of this, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. And, uh, but it's, you know, it's just one of those days where I'm, I'm, I'm usually pretty good about, um, not allowing myself to get so frustrated by all of this. Um, but today is one of those days where, to be honest, I needed to yell, uh, just at the top of my lungs for no reason, uh, just to release <laughs> whatever frustration, uh, I have in me right now. Uh, but I mean, I guess I should have done that. I didn't do that. I just figured I'd turn a camera around and 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 just talk. I um I'm 30 years old and I, you know, I I I found out about my MS because I was having some problems with my feet. I always thought it was somehow related to my back because of playing basketball and some other sport activities over the years. And I say I went a couple years with um problems with my feet. I, think I went six months with no feeling in my feet at all. Uh, and at that time, just, you know, normal doctor checkups didn't seem to reveal anything. So I just kind of, you know, you know, figured I'd just move past it. I was still young. So, um, but, you know, I guess it was, it was really hard for me because I don't know. I just, you know, we don't know exactly the cause, you know, why we got it. You know, there's, there's no scientific evidence that can look at a person and say, okay, you, you, got MS by this family member or you got MS genetically this way or that way and uh, though there are some theories out there there's no concrete evidence um, so you know that to some degree makes it a little bit tough but um, you know I just I don't know I mean I really some days I wish I could just wake up one day and, and not have pain in my feet um, I mean there, there's I can think of so many things I give for that because some days it's just, you know, you, you wake up, you know, I've, I've got a, you know, a 12 year old and a three year old and a three year old, some she wakes up in the middle of the night and if I jump out of bed, you know, I'm going to pay for it the next day because it's my feet. They, they can't handle that. They almost need to wake up, you know, um, because of the, the nerve damage. But, you know, I, I guess I just wanted to turn the camera around. I'm usually behind the camera. I don't turn it around and, 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 and do this kind of thing. Um, I see a lot of courageous people. I've met a lot of courageous people online who um, who have the courage to just talk about what they're experiencing and what they're going through. And that takes so much courage to just talk about your life and your experiences to people you know, throughout the world. Um, and I mean, I guess I would consider myself in certain ways to be courageous. Um, but when it comes to more of a personal thing like this, um, this isn't something I've done. So I just thought maybe today, given given my frustration 
uh, that I that I have, you know, that I'm feeling, I guess, or experiencing right now. I just felt like maybe, maybe today I, I would do that. Um, so this is my first time talking about my MS. Um, I guess I don't say too much about it. Um, my family members and closest friends obviously know about it. Um, but I think people still, to some degree, don't really fully understand the full measure of, of, of what MS, uh, how it affects us all. Um, but I do know that, you know, if, if, if we stay, you know, I guess focused on all of the good things that we have in our lives, we can truly um, stay positive about it. You know, I'm, I'm not one to, to be negative. Um, you know, I don't wish anything to change in my life because if it did, I wouldn't be who I am. So... Um, why I have this and while I have this and, and this condition and I'm experiencing, you know, the symptoms of it, like a lot of other people, like, you know, millions of people around the world. Um, if anything changed about that for me, then I wouldn't necessarily be the same man that I am today. So in that, in that regard, you know, I, I'm I'm thankful for everything that I've been given, uh, including MS. Uh, that may sound weird, but it, 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 I mean, I, I truly do because it has really directed me to do a lot of different things in my life um, that maybe I would have put on hold uh, if it wasn't for it. And because of that, you know, I'm I'm really uh, I'm very thankful to some degree. Um, but I guess to some degree, maybe that's easy to say now. But I mean, I, in a way, I try to approach things is to be thankful for everything that we're given, good and bad. Because the bad things makes us stronger and the good things make us appreciate the lives that we live. So uh, I guess I kind of look at things like that. So um, I won't ramble on too long since this is my first time doing this. Uh, and and um, maybe uh, after I calm down, I may not seem like I'm upset. This has actually been very helpful. Um, then maybe I'll, you know, talk a little bit more about, you know, my my condition. So thank you.